Now here comes the hard part. We may have had a loved one die. We know people that die, we say, they're in a better place now. Rest in peace, God bless that soul. Well, the truth of the matter is, if a person dies without Jesus Christ, they are surely going to weep and gnash their teeth in hellfire. God says on that day of judgment, if your name is not found written in the book of life, he will open up your book and charge you accordingly and righteously, and he will toss all of hell and everything that is dead in the sea and the sky, and he will toss that into the lake of fire, and that is the second death. Oh yes, the whole hell is a horrible place. Lake of fire is a horrible place. I don't want nobody going there. Nor does God. God does not want nobody going there. This is the most loving message you will hear all day, maybe all week. But God loved the world so much, He gave His only begotten Son. For anybody who believes on Him may have everlasting life. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you shall be saved. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you shall be saved. Confess it with your mouth. Confess it with your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Neither 
mock or rust and get to it. Learn that Jesus Christ, that's where your true treasure ought to be. But today is the day of salvation. That's what the Bible says. That you can turn to the living God. The Bible says to choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's time to choose. Who do you want to serve? You want to serve your money, your possessions? Oh, that's not going to get you anywhere. Look how angry some people are at just the Christianity, at, at the Word of God. I'm sure they wouldn't be too angry if they saw a Muslim out here preaching pedophilia or whatever else, uh, female circumcision, whatever else Muslims teach. Uh, but we're just Christians. No need to be alarmed. No need to call the police. We've never beheaded anybody like the Muslims do. We just preach the truth that's in the Word of God. If people don't like that truth, it's America and they can keep moving. But we believe in this freedom of speech uh, this wonderful nation affords us. So we're going to use it to the glory of God. And glory be to God for giving us Jesus Christ, His Son. Oh, that's right. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. That comes from Jesus alone. Hey, look, I hope you don't get into a terrible car accident. You're not even looking at the road right now, flipping me off. Time for you to be paying attention to God. Because you will die one day, and it doesn't matter how, but you will stand before this holy, holy, holy God. And you're not going to have excuses. You won't flip God off. I guarantee you, you won't. You won't whine to God, cry to Him. He'll bind you hand and foot, throw you into outer darkness. Where well, the Bible says it's reserved for the devil and his demons, but because mankind chose sin, because they chose to disobey God, that punishment was put onto them as well. But there is hope for you. And that hope is in the form of Jesus Christ, who came to be a propitiation for our sin, a sacrifice. And what a blessing it is that God offered not just any sacrifice for us, but His own Son, the Son of God. Christ. That's who God offered for a sacrifice so that we could be saved. No, we're separated from God. Our hope now lies in Jesus Christ who paid the price. The price that we could not pay. A debt that we owed. Jesus Christ paid it all. And when it was finished he said, it is finished. And the Bible says, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have this everlasting life. So it's up to you today. You can call out to God, or you can call out to the things of this world. We're going to call upon the name of the Lord, because you don't know when you're going to die. You may wake up tomorrow morning in hellfire. There's people in hell right now. I have loved ones in hell right now, and they wish they could come back and tell the rest of the family. You may have loved ones in hell right now, and they may wish that you can know the truth uh, I don't think you know the what the Bible says. Shame on you, woman. The truth is that Jesus Christ is God Almighty, and He is coming back, and He's coming back with vengeance. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. You are alive. What a merciful God I have. What a merciful God you can serve. You may serve the devil right now if you're Buddhist, if you're a Muslim, if you're a Mormon, a Jehovah Witness, if you're in any other religion, if you are involved in a religion that you think that your hope and your faith is in that religion, you are on your way to hell right now. I tell you that right now because the faith goes to Jesus Christ. You must live for Jesus Christ. The greatest commandment was to love your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. We must we must give thanks to the Lord every day. I tell you, if you're a Christian out here today, if you're a Christian and claim to love Jesus, I urge you to tell a family member about Jesus Christ today. I urge you, please, to weep at their feet. Beg them 
that they're on their way to hell to turn to Jesus. Because without Jesus, they are doomed. Without Jesus Christ, they're going to enter the, the gates of hell. In the gates of hell, there is no water. Oh, Lazarus, when he went to hell, he wanted some water. When the rich king went to hell, he wanted some water. He called out to Lazarus, said, Lazarus, give me some water. My lips are dry. But Abraham said, hey, Lazarus cannot go to you, and you cannot come where Lazarus is at. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, hell is a horrible place. Hell is a place of torment, a place of agony, a place where the, where the worms never die, a place where you will weep for eternity, a place where you're going to gnash your teeth. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, hell is a place of torment where you can spend eternity. You may be 20 in your 30s, or maybe you're in your 50s. But I tell you what, that is nothing compared to eternity. Oh, you're going to wake up in the seat of judgment, and you're going to see your life as a nothing but a vapor. You're going to say, that must have been a dream. Where am I? I wish I was there again. I wish I would have went back and made the right decision. Oh, if I die tonight, I will know that I know some people that will be going to heaven and I will meet them there. For a Christian to die is just the beginning of what a Christian is living for. That is where our life begins. Because I tell you what today, that when you die, that's where your life is really going to begin. You can choose today whether to go to hell or go to heaven. Oh, Jesus Christ, he can be your perfect defense attorney. He paid the price for you. He was crucified for you. Oh, some of you are thinking we are so hateful people. Why is this a hateful message? We're going to tell you a story of love. A love story. Because God came down from the heavens above. God came down from his riches, his glory. God left his righteousness in the heavens. And he came down and dwelt on earth, and he was crucified. Oh, we still want to use his name as a curse word. You still want to use Jesus Christ as a curse word. You still want to mock Jesus. You still want to mock his gospel. But I'll tell you what, today, ladies and gentlemen, stop today and repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord today, and you shall be saved. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord today, and you shall be saved. God's word does not come back void. God is not a liar. God is honest. God says, if you believe on my son, you shall have eternal life. That is eternal life, where you live forever. You can live in a place where the streets are made out of gold. You can live in a place where there is no more sickness. You can live in a place where there's no more sorrow and death. Oh, I'll tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, if any of your family members have died, they are in hell. They are in that place of torment. Hell is an awful place. We should not wish the horrible person there. Many of you say, oh, God loves us all. God loves every single one of us. We are all children of God. But is Hitler a child of God? Is Hitler in heaven? No, we know there's a punishment for the things here on earth. If you do something bad here on earth, you know there's a punishment. The same thing in heaven. If you do not obey God and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, there is a punishment for your sins. You do have to be punished. There is a price for all the fun times that you went out the cross. Remember, kids, that Jesus Christ died for you guys. Transformed into a new creation. To walk in the light. To be like Christ. Amen, amen. A disciple of Christ. To have love in your heart. Your love. You as a sinner, it? as a heathen, yeah. you cannot truly love. You go to church. You have wickedness Sometimes. in your heart. Yeah, how old are you? Your heart is stone, and it needs replaced. I mean, the power of God to replace it. The power of God to transform a man, awesome, a wicked man. Spreading like, seeds, like right? I used to be. Then be baptized for the remission of your sins. That's what we're calling you today to do. To repent, to turn from your wickedness, to turn from your ways, because your way is wrong. Your way is wrong, and you're on your way to hellfire. You're on your way to hellfire. That's what the Bible says. And we're here to tell you what the Bible Amen. says. Amen. There's nothing wrong with all of
Okay. Everybody has their own right. You're telling me that bloody religion is okay? Everybody has their own They're right. They're pedophiles. Like, everybody, everybody, has, everybody, has everybody has their own right. Everybody has their own right. Everybody has. Oh, they have their own right. Everybody has. It doesn't mean it's right. They got a right, but it ain't hey, right. How about how about you go to hell? Well, I'm, I'm not gonna. You are. Safe. Look. No, I've been safe. This don't make me go to hell. wrong person, bro. Oh, we have. Jesus hey, Christ saved me. That's you, what saved me. You need to educate yourself. What you need to do is fucking educate yourself. I've been reading the Bible. That's hey, my education hey, right hey, there. read other people's religion. No, too. I don't need to read the Quran. That's only useful for toilet paper. Okay, we need okay. the word of God. Okay. We need the word of God. What upsets you is that we brought the truth out here. Christianity upsets you. People getting saved. People being transformed. People being set free from their demons upsets you. You've got, you're full of demons, sir. That's what it is. You're full of demons. And you don't want other people to get saved. That's your problem. But uh, we want other people to get saved. We want other people to be set free. Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We're not afraid of what the world has to say, telling us we're wrong. We know the truth because we were set free by the truth. Amen. We were set free by Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're not a lot of people. Okay. It's Cody, Alan, 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 yes. Yeah. So what's going on here? Preaching the word of God, man. Preaching the word of God. Yeah. Read the Bible before? I have. I was raised Catholic. Oh goodness. <laughs> so I've read it a few times. So you made it out of there without, uh, you know, being any penetration crazy. or anything like that? Yeah. No, I'm not. No, 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 no about that. Uh, but I believe his word was good. He did. You know, Jesus was a man. He was a savior. He saved. A lot of people. He Son of God. Everybody, yeah. You know, he preached the word of love. Well, now I see. He wasn't loving all the time. All the time. Oh, no. There are some rules, you know. There are sins that people commit. Yeah. Now I'm not sure who Alan is. I know I saw a sign earlier. What? Who's Alan? A sign? Yeah. When I passed by earlier, I saw a sign that said Alan is safe. Oh now, no no uh, Allah. Over here. Allah. Yeah. Allah. Now Allah. Safe. Have you read the Quran? Why would I want to do that when I got perfectly good toilet paper? Now, I want to tell you something about that. All is just another word for God. Well, and you know what? Yeah, that hold on, hold on right there. You're trying to say that we have the same God as the Muslims. We don't. We don't. We don't. I know no. that. And they and they know that. But they believe. No, they don't. Oh, they, they do believe not believe, that believe in the same God man. as the Christian God. They don't even believe that Jesus is the Son of God. They don't believe that at all. They just believe he's all. a prophet. Yeah. No, they know. I know that about that. There, there is nothing uh, the same here. So when I say Allah is Satan, Muslims know what I'm saying. Everybody knows what I'm saying. Well, they don't because it's they only don't know people that want to play word games and things like that. Yeah. I'm trying to make. Them. I'm glad you guys are peaceful about this. You know, I've had yeah. some people yell at me when I. We're say not going to behead anybody. Yeah. You know, we don't do that stuff. Much. Right. <laughs> but uh. You know, as a Catholic, you know this. I mean, you guys have been fighting the Muslims for centuries, right? Yeah. Much have you heard what we have said? I mean, oh, I haven't heard anything. I just yeah. came over here. I so we've been telling guys... anybody, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and that yeah, shall be saved. I understand that. Uh, no. So it's very loving to tell people the truth, even if it is bad stuff. That's yeah, the no, truth. I'm, I'm not worried terms. about what you guys are protesting here. I just wanted to talk to you. Know? Yeah, we're just preaching. Well, um, we're not, we're not just, protesting anything. Well, yeah, not protesting. Yes. Is that uh, a full read? Thank you. I'll definitely give a look. Yeah, you know, and as a Catholic, you understand that there is a difference between being religious and being born again, right? Yeah, definitely. So do you consider yourself born again? How come? I'm not religious. So, but you, as a Catholic, you know the Bible, and the Bible, Jesus said, unless a man be born again, he cannot inherit the kingdom of God. I was never baptized. So you were just religious because your parents put you in? Yeah. Or something like I that started or? that, I believe in it. I believe in parts, you know, and I kind of pick and choose because I'm not a good Christian. Honest, I'm not the best. Uh, Would you even call yourself a Christian then if you're not born again? Because no. that's kind of the prerequisite. You gotta get born again to be able to call yourself. I believe. I believe for me, it's not a part of being born again. It's not part of what you're told as. It's what you feel in your own heart. What you believe. What your faith is. And if you put your faith in God, then are you truly not a Christian? Yeah, trusting Jesus. But the thing about the heart is that the Bible says it's deceitfully wicked. Oh, so yeah, a lot of people say, oh, God knows my heart. Well, yeah, he knows it's wicked. I mean, yeah, you don't live any different than the devil. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, you can't. And at that point, if that's what you believe, put your faith in what you are telling them to really do. You know what I mean? Well, at that time, it might be too late. You exactly. gotta wait until then to, to say, hey, I'm but sorry. But you can't change it because you've already messed up. Right, so that's why the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Yeah. So a lot of people, you know, it is really just to bring attention to back to Jesus. People get really busy and wrapped up with the world, and they need a reminder every now and then. And whether they hear everything we say, it doesn't matter. These signs and, and the knowing there's Christians out here is that reminder, hey, you know, everything I've ever heard about God all comes back and replaces your mind. And they got, once again, another choice to make. And that's yeah. why the Bible says, choose this day whom you will serve. So we want everybody to make a decision today before they die. All right. I'm about to talk to you all hey, again. Hey, Cody, right? Yes. Nice meeting you. Alan. Alan, all right. All right. I'll do a quiz bump. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, guys. Hey, don't Two. forget about Jesus now. Of course. The turn. You get right. How you doing? Spit? Yeah. You want to? Yeah, you're fucking retarded. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. 18. Yeah, I'm legal. You're legal. For yeah. what? For fucking. Are uh, you join the army? No. Actually, serve your country, grow a pair of balls, be a man. I got a Is pair of balls. Is this your girlfriend? No. I hope not. I wouldn't be seen with a guy like you. Mm. You need That's to get. You need cool. to become a man. You're gonna yeah. claim you're 18. You're not a man. You're still a little boy. That's fair. Listen, I have a theory. I think it sucks. I'm, so it you need sucks? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't really care about your theory. Ooh. Sound like a little fag a minute ago. You need Jesus, man. Yeah? Yeah. No, this was a good talk. You're good at this. Oh, hey, you're the one who wanted to get theories and swap spit. I'm out here to tell you to get saved. Get right with God. Get rid of your demons. Nasty vile. Need to repent, homo. That's right. The Word of God does not change. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the living God, that's who you need. That's who can change you.